Hello there, how are you doing? Uh, in this video, we are basically going to be looking at uh, the principle of legality and uh, we will also proceed to define what the principle is about. We will also look at the doctrines uh, on which the principle of legality bases itself and then we'll also uh, discuss a variety of cases and we'll illustrate how actually the doctrine or the principle of legality has been applied. But then also very interestingly, we'll look at the position of the Ugandan constitution on the principle of legality. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mutiawa Conrad. I'm a lawyer and a private law tutor. And uh, before we start on our class, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification so that uh, when I release videos, this is brought to your attention. Please like and share uh, my video with your colleagues so that they are also able to benefit. Finally, I encourage students who uh, think that they need some help, some uh, polishing, uh, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you can uh, involve us so that we are able to help you. Our numbers are down in the description box. Please fix an appointment with us and we'll be able to uh, mentor you and coach you uh, so that you have a deep understanding of the law. So let's start right away with our topic. Um, as we stated earlier, that is uh, the principle of legality. Let's start with uh, actually uh, stating what actually the principle uh, states. And there is a Latin maxim that actually uh, expresses the principle, and that is uh, nulla crimen sine lege, uh, nulla poena sine lege. So basically this uh, Latin maxim simply means that no crime and no punishment without law. So this principle of legality, in essence, is to the um, effect that you cannot punish a person, okay, unless there is a certain uh, provision of the law that makes uh, their action criminal, and that provision of the law must actually even go on to state the punishment, okay? So without a certain provision of the law making a certain action or omission uh, punishable, it is prohibited by the law for you to go on and actually charge someone and then you go on to punish them whereas actually there is not there is no any law that is providing for the same and it is also important to note that the principle of legality is also to the effect that you cannot pass uh, laws to prohibit an action which was actually prior not unlawful okay so basically in essence that is what the principle of legality is about but also of uh, interest to you is that the principle basically means that criminal liability and punishment should be based only upon a prior enactment of a prohibition that is expressed with adequate precision and clarity. Now, it's also important to note that the principle of legality requires that if there is a certain provision of the law, okay, or any penal provision, that penal provision should be clear, okay, and it should um, state out the crime or the punishment precisely and in a clear manner so as to create no ambiguity okay this is really very important i encourage you uh, to go and read the case of kekinyumu versus uganda it's a case of 1969 east africa page 333 it is very authoritative and a very interesting case on that aspect having defined what the principle of legality is about Ladies and gentlemen, let's now proceed to look at the doctrines that actually make up the principle of legality. So the, this principle of legality, in essence, uh, does not stand alone. There are certain doctrines and other elements that are um, actually on which it stands. Okay, And uh, these include, number one, the prohibition of judicial creation of new penal rules. Okay, That is doctrine number one. Doctrine number two is the abolition of existing common law penal doctrines, okay? Then number three, special rules mandating that penal statutes be construed strictly, okay? And then uh, thirdly, uh, or number four, the prohibition of ex, of ex post facto penal laws, okay? And for or, or the authority I can give you to, so that you can go and... Uh, uh, read this case. It's it's even more illustrative on this aspect. Is the case of Gichina versus versus Republic. It's a case of 1970 East Africa, page 105. But we shall be looking at these cases a little bit more in detail at a later stage in this class. Then the other doctrine uh, on which actually also makes up the principle of legality, which is doctrine number five, is to the effect that, uh, that uh, the bar on retrospective application of judicial 
interpretations, altering criminal rules. And lastly, the due process, invalidation of vague criminal statutes. So basically, when we talk of the principle of legality, the principle of legality actually stems okay, on all these um, six doctrines that I have actually shared with you. I will share with you a number of cases to actually illustrate the principle of legality. And we shall start by looking at the case of Shao versus DPP. It's a case of 1962, uh, SC, page 220. And basically in this case, Lord Reed held, open quotations, that it has always been thought to be of primary importance that our criminal law to be certain that a man should be able to know what conduct is and isn't criminal, particularly when heavy penalties are involved. So in essence, Rod Reed was trying to say that the position under common law and the position of the law is that whenever there is a certain penal section that makes a certain act or mission criminal, that penal section should be certain and very clear so as to make a punishment um, known and clear to a person who actually commits such a crime. Okay, so the law should be certain and should be clear. That is what Lord Reed was trying to say. Now, it's also important to note that the principle of legality and these uh, doctrines, uh, the six doctrines which I just shared with you, are actually constitutionalized. Most of them are actually provided for under the 1995 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. So we are now going to proceed and we look at some of um, the articles under the Constitution that actually constitutionalize or that actually provide for the principle of uh, legality. I interest you to look at Article 28, Clause 7 of the 1995 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. Please note that these provisions are under the Ugandan Constitution, but you can also find them under the Constitution of any uh, country. Okay, Most of these principles are universal in nature. They are not unique to Uganda, and you can find them under the Constitution of your country. It doesn't matter whether you're listening in from Kenya, from uh, Zambia, uh, from you know, Rwanda, South Sudan, or anywhere around the world, uh, please just look under your constitution. You realize that actually your constitution of your country or even under common law, uh, that it actually um, has these provisions. But specifically for the Ugandan constitution, look at Article 28, Clause 7, which provides that no person shall be charged with a criminal offense founded on an act which did not, at the time it took place, constitute a criminal offense. So basically the constitution is saying that you cannot uh, charge a person okay, of a crime which actually um, was not initially uh, unlawful, okay, meaning that there was no law that provided for it. Someone commits an act, then you go on to maybe make it criminal after the act has been committed and then you're charging them uh, under that, such, a, such a law. So that is prohibited by the constitution. Secondly, I also encourage you to look at Article 28, Clause 8, which provides that no, pen no, uh, no penalty shall be imposed that is severer in degree than could have been imposed at the time the crime was committed. In essence, the Constitution is saying that if at the time of the commission of the offense, let's say the punishment was imprisonment for six years, you cannot then uh, increase or give a punishment that is above that. Okay, after someone has committed a crime, then you go on to increase the punishment. That is prohibited by the Ugandan Constitution. Then finally, you can also look at Article 28, Clause 12 of the Constitution, which provides that no person shall be um, convicted of a crime unless the offense is defined and the penalty are uh, prescribed by law. Okay, so a person cannot be charged of an offense unless there is a certain penalty uh, which is laid down by law, and the offense has to be de uh, clearly defined. Okay, if they are charging you for treason, there must be a law providing for treason. Okay, and treason must be defined either under a certain statute or maybe under uh, common law or case law. Okay, that is what the Constitution of uh, Uganda is trying to, to, to state. However, ladies and gentlemen, it's important to note that for this uh, last principle, which is under Article 28, Clause 12, it has an exception. Okay, meaning that there are certain circumstances where you can be charged for 
uh, an offense which is not written down and the penalty is not prescribed. And that, uh, the, the exception is actually uh, contempt of court. That is the only exception, which is contempt of court. Having looked at the Constitution and what it states on the principle of legality, let's now go on. Uh, I'm going to share with you uh, a number of cases on the, uh, ex post, on the ex post facto laws. Remember, we looked at some of the doctrines on which the principle of legality uh, emanates or sits. So we are now going to look at one of those um, cases that actually uh, looks at one of the doctrines, which is uh, the ex uh, post facto laws. I interest you to look at the case of Gichina versus Republic, which I earlier shared with you, a case of 1970, East Africa, page 105. And basically, in this case, the law came in force uh, on 25th March 1969. Please mark the dates. The offense was committed on 3rd and 4th January 1969. Then the accused was charged with handling stolen uh, goods. And then, of course, court held that the offense didn't exist at the time of its commission. So the case was actually thrown out by court. The charges were dismissed because um, of violation of the principle of legality, okay? So I think this actually illustrates, okay, the effect of, uh, of the principle of legality and how far actually court will go. Uh, let me also share with you finally a case for the principle of adequate precision and clarity of the law. Remember we said that um, one of the other doctrines on which the principle of legality sits is uh, the doctrine of uh, precision and clarity, that the law has to be clear, okay, and it has uh, to be precise in a way, okay. So let's look at an interesting case of Kekinyumu versus Uganda. It's a case of 1969 East Africa, page 333. Basically, uh, the facts are as follows. In 1969 in Uganda, there are, we are emergency laws. Now, one was prohibiting the wearing of uniforms of political parties. Kekinyumu was found on the veranda of a shop in Masaka wearing a suit, uh, a necktie, a shirt and shoes in green and white and a badge of Ben Chiwanuka. A then DP president, that is he was the president of Democratic Party in Uganda. He was also carrying a knife as well. Okay, Police arrested and charged him with holding a knife in public and wearing a uniform of a political party which was the Democratic Party. Now, Ben Chiwanuka defended, uh, uh, defended the accused personally, and the decision of Justice George uh, John actually revolved around the definition of open quotations, a uniform of a political party, and the definition of the words a public place. Now, the judge actually found that the veranda of a shop was a private place, and that the judge also found that the colors of the man's uniform were only similar but not uniform of a political party because there was no such uniform of a political party. This judgment and this reasoning of the judge actually indicates the significance of a definition of ingredients of offenses and that courts are not willing to overlook the strict definitions of offenses and aspects of criminal responsibility. Again, this goes on to illustrate uh, the other doctrine which we looked at of precision and clarity of the law. So the judge was trying to say that, look, the law is not clear, okay? It did not clarify, okay, as to what amounts to a uniform, okay, and uh, what the ingredients of the offense actually were. So uh, basically that's how court will proceed to apply the principle of legality. And those cases, I hope, have been uh, helpful to you to try and illustrate the principle of Legality. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our class. Thank you very much for listening in. For if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please ensure that you subscribe, you turn on the notification. And also very importantly, for students interested in private law tutorial sessions, please ensure that you contact us. We'll be able to help you. Our numbers are down in the description box. You can always have an arrangement. And of course, we have limited spaces. We can only take on a small number of students for purposes of quality and um, a good sharing of knowledge. But thank you very much for listening in. Let's meet in another class. Bye-bye.